modular tactical vest has saved countless marines from serious injury in the global war on terror. Ask any marine who's worn it though, and they'll tell you it's not the most comfortable piece of gear. That's why the Marine Corps is moving to the improved modular tactical vest. When they're wearing this vest all day, that um, it's more on their shoulders, and getting that relief on their shoulders. While it disperses way better than the current vest, the IMTV can still hamper Marines' maneuverability. This is where the lighter plate carrier, or PC, comes in. When you're walking around patrolling, you're wearing a PC. So that cuts off weight right there. That cuts off almost six, seven pounds. That weight difference allows Marines greater maneuverability in a firefight and decreases the chances of overheating in hot climates like Afghanistan. Ultimately though, the small arms protective inserts inside a Marine's vest are the only items that stand between them and serious injury. We get feedback all the time. We get emails and pictures. Uh, I'm, I'm real happy to say it's usually a, a smiling Marine uh, pointing at their uh, body armor plate uh, where they've been shot uh, saying, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm here today to send you this picture. Marines face far more dangers than just bullets and shrapnel while deployed. Sometimes an explosion can trap a Marine inside a burning vehicle. This is the situation where flame-resistant organizational gear can make all the difference. We have light uniform, we have the frog gear. I mean, it's a lot lighter than the cameras we have right now. And it gives you that protection, that FR, that flame-resistant protection. Um, very thin material, very breathable when you're wearing it in the heat of Afghanistan. While frog gear and plate carriers provide increased protection, maneuverability, and breathability, the Marine Corps will continue improving its efforts to protect its most valuable resource, the Marine. From Quantico, Virginia, I'm Corporal Nick Neighbors.